Welcome to Django series. In this video, I will talk about how the static files are used in a template generator. So watch my previous video first so that you can understand the concept of template generator. So let us start the discussion. I extend template inheritance in the last video. So we ahead will add a static file in the base.html so that we can integrate changes in all the web pages. Consider a scenario, a software professional is my project, having tester and coder is the application. Under the tester application, we have base, junior test and senior test HTML pages. So base.html pages is a parent and these are the two child pages. We have to inherit all the changes of the base.html into these child pages. So first of all, how the static points are added into the project, we need to create a static folder under the project. This already we discussed in the static files. So to add a static file in the project, we need to create a static folder. Under the static folder, we have different files, CSS, images and JavaScript. So under the CSS, we need to create a certain CSS tags. So already I added some CSS tag inside it. Now I'll integrate this CSS file into my base.html. So go to the template folder. Under the template folder, open the tester application and inside it, base.html page is there. Now we'll add the CSS file under the base.html. So it consists of link, real is equal to style sheet. And second part of that link is let's say href, which consists of path of the static file. Let's say static file and the path is here we need to mention, which is nothing but CSS folder under the CSS folder we have style.css and then we lose the tag. Once we add the style sheet, we also add the image under this body tag. So after this end block, if I want to add let's say image, so I'm going to add the image tag and inside that we need to mention the source on that image. So it is again a static file. So we are going to write the static and the path of that static file. So it comes under the image folder. Let's say it's a name is test1.jpg. And both the files are added to the HTML page. That is a base HTML page that can be accessible into my child pages. So these changes are reflected directly into this jtest.html. We'll no need to modify anything for this page. Now I'll execute the project by using the command python manage.py run server. Once it executes properly, we'll get the URL. Copy this URL and paste into the browser. Now we'll go to the tester application. Under the tester application, we are working on the JTester. Now we can find there is a did you forgot to register or load this tag. We already registered this tag into the setting.py but we are not load this tag onto the HTML page. So we'll go back to the coding. Open the base.html page and we'll find we need to load the static part. So before starting of the HTML page, we need to add the load static. And now we'll execute again. So let's go to the browser, refresh this page. You can find that all the CSS files and images has been displayed onto the inherited template. So this is my jtest.html, which consists of these two link along with the background color has been changed. Also images are added into the HTML page. So likewise, we can add as many as content into the inherited template. Thanks for watching this video.